Viewer discretion advised, this video will probably not be for children under the age of 18 without adult supervision. Hello everyone, Josh here with Connor, and uh, today uh, Connor will be playing Higurashi when they cry. I know a little bit about it because I've watched like half of, or at least part of the anime when it came out like years ago. <laughs> You know they came out with a uh, reboot of it, right? Is it already out? Yeah, both seasons. Ooh. It's I'm really going to watch good. that after I watch you play this. If I remember correctly, there's like a new kid in town, right? And uh, he slowly starts figuring out that uh, his neighborhood isn't quite what it seems. <laughs> it's definitely not. Um <laughs> Basically, I, I wouldn't really say the story revolves around him as the main character. I think everybody is a main character because uh, if you don't know I think, anything about the series, don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a lot of twists and turns, and if you think you know one thing, it's going to be something else. Let's uh, uh, yeah, here we jump into here it. Here we go. Hmm. Welcome to the world of Higurashi, when they cry. <clears throat> the Onikakushi arc will be the opening, inviting you into the world. Don't play tough, please. Just enjoy life and Hinamizawa to the fullest. The difficulty is extremely high, but I hope you will enjoy the reward. Huh. Sounds good. So, um, uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was so weird. Please do not lament. Uh, did I say that right? Oh man, English. I will forgive <laughs> you even if the world will not forgive you. Please do not lament. I will forgive you. Oh, it just repeats. So please tell me, what will it take for you to forgive me? Federica Brugsakians. This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to the actual person or organization is entirely conceitable. <laughs> Somebody just got whacked. Schwack. Give me, give me flashbacks. <laughs> <clears throat> if I was going to be ripped apart anyways, having my body ripped... Oh, I oh. trusted her. Oh. No, I still trust her. Still? <laughs> Even in this very moment, I trust her. But I'm starting to realize I only wanted to trust her because I refused to accept the truth. It was as if I was trying to convince myself in such a silly, sobbing voice, and those tears, those tears making a mess of my face. That maniacal, repetitious sound finally stilled, and everything fell silent. It sounded like it was more than your tears just making a mess of your face. <laughs> <laughs> Cicadas remained annoyingly loud, and yet I felt as if I could still hear her voice. But that's not possible. She is no longer speaking. The only one crying is me. She never cried. She never cried. <laughs> Even when she repeated those words over and over, she never expressed any emotion because there was none to show. If she had no tears to shed for me, then I shouldn't need to shed any for her. Oh, okay. <laughs> then why this pain? My eyes getting moist. Why was this happening? <laughs> I still wanted to believe I hadn't been split apart. That's enough, right? Inside me, an inner voice whispered gently. <clears throat> Spirit suffered enough. And countless times, I'd wavered over whether I should just throw the battered thing away. Except I stubbornly refused to do that. I have an eye. Have an eye. Oh, man. This guy is very I introspective. <laughs> I feel better if I just threw it away, even knowing that I chose to believe, didn't I? Only I can understand that pitiful struggle and appreciate it. Hey, me. You're me. Start reading. <laughs> I've tried more than enough. I'll acknowledge that much. <clears throat> so? Isn't it alright just to take the easy way out? Um. <laughs> besides, I'm not throwing it away. I'm leaving it behind. With her. Like flowers by a grape. Oh. Now then. Calm your nerves. 
even though you can't feel your right arm. Uh oh. <laughs> Just lift it up. And with every swing, forget a little more. The power of friendship! I don't think this is the power of friendship. <laughs> that kind of made me happy. That adorable smile brought me joy. Uh oh. I liked petting your head. <laughs> I loved how demure you were. Because this will be the last time. Viewer discretion advised, this video will probably not be for children under the age of 18 without adult supervision. This is my first and last bouquet for you. Yeah, I'm definitely going to add a uh, disclaimer to this video. <laughs> Perhaps I really did. Love you. Igarashi, when they cry. <laughs> I believe it was day. Oh. oh. Yeah, quick save. Somebody has been apologizing for a while now. I wonder what she's apologizing for. It felt wrong to eavesdrop, so I just tried to ignore it. It had been a while since I'd last went to the city. I only returned to attend the funeral of a relative. Even though I'd lived there until the last month, I found the bustle of the city to be overwhelming. The skyscrapers and the multi-lane roads, the melodious cacophony of the crosswalk even the campaign that word yeah, yeah. <laughs> even the campaign speeches blaring in front of the station felt nostalgic <clears throat> the place where i live now isn't nearly as lively there's only the chirping of locusts and the babbling brooks and the cry of higurashi the evening cicadas ah that's what higurashi is oh really huh the more you know Rather than making me feel lonely, that quietness had begun to instill a sense of serenity. There's nothing where I'm living now. I just don't mean there are any burger joints. There aren't even vending machines. Oh no. No. Oh no, not my not my sodas. Oh no. Oh no shit. <laughs> no music stores, no restaurants, and no arcades. Even an ice cream parlor would be unlikely. Jeez. The nearest town had stuff like that, but it's an hour away by bike. But come to think of it, it wasn't really a big deal. There were music stores and arcades and ice cream parlors, but it wasn't like I ever hung out at any of them. I had lived in the city for 10 years and never once been to an ice cream parlor. I should have gone at least once. It's only now that I'm starting to regret it a little. <laughs> Somebody is still apologizing. Who is she apologizing to? She's apologized so much. I just forget her already. There's no reason anyone should ever need to apologize so much. I started to feel a bit annoyed at whoever was refusing to forgive her. No matter how bad the mistakes, there's nothing that can't be forgiven. There's no such thing as irreparable. Yeah. There's no such thing as irreparable mistake. You just need to be more careful next time. She's still apologizing. Even now. This one is really sorry. Has she really done something that can't be fixed? I have no idea what she's done, but if it can't be fixed, then that's all the more reason to forgive her. No matter how much she apologizes, nothing will change. But even so, she keeps apologizing in such a heartbreaking voice. Hey you, the one she's apologizing to, why don't you just go ahead and forgive her? She's apologizing in such a pathetic voice. Keiichi, we're almost there. Wake up. I was finally roused from a nap by my father's prodding. It seemed the train had reached its final stop. We'd spent hours riding everything from the bullet train to the local routes. It was hard to believe that the landscape beyond the window in the city I was half in the day of, uh, that I was in half a day ago were in the same country. No, that they were even from the same era. My god, this is a long intro. Yeah. <laughs> from there, we'd take a car deeper into the mountains. Do 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 <laughs> Past where the dense forest approaching on the mountain road suddenly opened up. 
there, where I live now, Hinamizawa. <laughs> Pokemon, <laughs> when they cry, edition. <laughs> Cycle Stalker, I choose you. <laughs> Even though we are pushing summer, the morning airs still had a frigid bite. <clears throat> Although in exchange, you could fill your lungs up with crisp, clean air. Flipping open the window, I was greeted with a verdant expanse. Nothing but trees. The neighboring house is far away on the other side. So I was probably the only one enjoying that view and that air. It filled my lungs with another deep breath. I filled my lungs with another deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> Since I started living in Hinamizawa, I learned that even air had its own taste. Ooh. Oh, we get music now. Ooh. Ooh. I quickly finished getting ready for school and headed downstairs for breakfast. My mother was the only one there. My father was nowhere to be seen. He was probably up working until the early morning. Dad had a rather unconven ah, unconventional job as a painter. It's such a laid-back profession. Get up when you want, sleep when you want, and work when you want. Yo, I wish! That is the ideal job. <laughs> <laughs> I was so jealous of that easy-going lifestyle. I even wrote for school that I wanted to be a painter when I grew up. Dad was ecstatic about that. It was just because it looked easy. I'd never tell him that, though. <laughs> Mom laid breakfast out on the table. Seaweed, pickled vegetables, raw egg, and grilled salmon. Yo, that's, that's dinner. That's not breakfast. It's <laughs> a nice breakfast. Oh, no. Jealous. Got chicken nuggets for breakfast. <laughs> My mom was such a good cook, it was scary. A perfect, immaculate, ideal breakfast. Unlike my dad, who didn't even know the meaning of the word schedule, my mom never squandered any time or effort. She hummed a little tune as she brought over the miso soup. It seemed like she was in a good mood today. And the miso soup for breakfast? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, oh. Well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I'm so happy you've been waking up early since we moved here at Keiichi. If I don't... Oh, that's you. Oh, if I don't... If I don't wake up early, I won't have time to eat breakfast. I thought I was being cute, responding with a wisecrack after being praised for being good. A full bowl of rice or will half be enough. Pile it on. You got First it, son. Time. Favorite this evening hot rice with the seaweed. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> After that, I covered it with the egg. Between bites of rice, I enjoyed the crunch of pickles. Not bad at all. Excellent, as usual. Watching me clean my plate, Mom gave me a warm smile. I'm so happy you haven't skipped breakfast ever since we moved here, Keiichi. I was not a morning person. When we lived in the city, I slept right into the last minute before school and rarely ate breakfast. And the music's back. <laughs> Boycotting the breakfast mom made me eat more, made me each morning. That was probably the only way I could protest being forced to attend cram school. I guess that was what you'd call my rebellious phase. I wouldn't so much as look at the breakfast she woke up early every day to make. If I could go back in time, I'd slap myself. Mindful of the time, Mom rushed me along with a wide grin. Isn't it about time to meet up with Rina-chan? Hurry, hurry. Mom really seemed to enjoy the fact that her son was going to school with a girl. Ooh. Rina was one of my classmates. She really loves cooking. She really loves looking after people. Coming to meet me every day without fail. The way I looked at it, a guy my age walking to school with a girl was just lame. But, well, keeping a classmate waiting for me every day would, wouldn't be very considerate. <clears throat> Seriously, though, how long does Reno wait there for me every morning? Taking one last gulp of miso soup, I race for the door. Sounds like this dude wants to be a virgin. 
<laughs> Just calling it like I see it. <laughs> Please thank Rina Chen for the pickles. Come to think of it, those pickles weren't store bought, were they? If I'd known that, I would have savored them a bit more. Morning. Oh my god, people exist. <laughs> There's people. Can't you good? <laughs> good morning. Ohio good time is. <laughs> Her cheerful greeting was as fresh as the morning itself. You're always so early. You should try sleeping in sometime. If I sleep in, I'll keep you waiting. She's so conscientious. Conscientious. Oh man, big word. <laughs> <laughs> and such a good person. Big vocab time. Yeah, I know. I gotta sit up for my chair for this. <laughs> <laughs> if that ever happens, I'll just leave you behind. Keiichi kun, you're so cold. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I wait for I you wait. all the time. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> no, not the dot. <laughs> I'll leave you in the dust without looking back. Why are you so mean? Why? Soon did it. Raina had a slightly troubled look on her face. Toying with her was rather fun because of how quickly her mood changed. I'm kidding. I'd wait for you. With those words, Raina seemed to relax. Her face flushed bright red. Ah, the thank you. I'd wait forever until you came, Raina. No matter how long. Forever. <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> Raina turned bright red, steam rising from her head as her brain short-circuited. Cannot compute. <laughs> She's especially weak to this sort of talk. It's quite, it's quite rare to find someone this fun to tease. Have you ever read a romance novel, Raina? Uh, we're in one. <laughs> I have <You're>. never <laughs> read any before. <laughs> From that response, I gathered she was interested in them, but was too embarrassed to actually buy one. I couldn't imagine what would happen if she did read one. She'd probably turn red and pass out. Oh yeah, message from mom. She says thanks for the pickles. It was nothing. You're welcome. How were they? Not too salty? They weren't that salty. Actually, they had a pretty light flavor to them. It would have been fine to be, just to be honest and say they were good, but apparently I couldn't be that forthright. I'd like to ask something before that. Were you the one who pickled them, Reno? Or was it your mom? Huh? Why do you ask? Were, were they too salty? Her attitudes completely changed as she began to panic frantically. Was it you, Reina, or was it your mom? <laughs> Why are you asking who made them? Why? 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 <laughs> Depending on who made them, my opinion of them might change drastically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, count <laughs> the amount of salt she used to pickle them. It wasn't like I was trying to tease her, but I couldn't stop myself. Guys who take pleasure in this kind of thing are probably the worst. Guys like me. 
She nervously opened and closed her mouth over and over, trying to muster a response. It was me. <laughs> Delicious. Huh? Pretty good, just like the last ones. They went perfectly with the rice. <clears throat> Her face went bright red again. She was completely spacing out. It truly was a lot of fun to tease her. I pray that she never gets taken advantage of by some bull life. Hmm. Mm. Keep at it, Reno. Foreshadowing. <laughs> I'll train you until you handle it like the average person. <laughs> I'll teach you to be a normie. <laughs> Get those thoughts out of your head, people. Or so I decided for myself. Let's go. If we keep me on waiting, we'll never hear the end of it. Seeing as she just keeps facing out, otherwise, I called Raina back to reality so we can make our way to school. This strange, easily flustered girl is Raina Ryugu. Ah, good soup. Ah, I've only known her for about a month, but I've come to realize it's not her name that's strange. I got riddles to watch this show. We have the name for the twins. Baja Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up to the next rendezvous point, we saw another person waiting for us. Noticing us, she waved. Ah, finally! You two are late. Usually you're the one who's late. In sharp contrast to the village arena, this one marched to the beat of her own drum. She's Mion Sonazaki. For what it's worth, she's our senior and head of the class. Ah, uh, I remember this character. Morning, Reina. It's been a while, K Chen. How many years? I was only off two days. <laughs> you don't say it. You were so much cuter back then. <laughs> Mian's gaze, er, Mian's gaze started at my chest, <laughs> dropping straight down. Oh, damn. The point. <laughs> okay. Very forward. <laughs> That's what she wants. So she was saying it was my crotch that was cuter back then. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. Before you ask, just to be clear, I've never actually tried to show it to her. <laughs> Of course not. <laughs> I've grown quite splendidly. No. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm not saying that. What are you What are you doing? What's best now? <laughs> Darn. Being so. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> it's just quite a problem, though. I'll introduce you next time, so be sure to greet him properly. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't say next time right now, it's just fine. How about letting the little guy get a friend? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard. Talk so dirty, you could smell it fouling up in the morning air before. Me unsure does act like an old man sometimes. Gotcha. Time for the big reveal. Um, <laughs> One new. Well, I hope you don't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hand reason for my play. Raina began to ramble in a near panic. Oi, oi, oi. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Red face and flustered Raina tried to play dumb, but it was obvious she knew exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> How was it? Seeing the city again. Oh, yeah, the city. That's what I <laughs> 
with me and switched gears, dropping the dirty talk and changing the topic to something more befitting the pleasant morning. I only went for a funeral, and I didn't have much time. So yeah, did you look for it? That thing I asked for. You're not listening at all. I just came back from a funeral. I didn't have any time to look around in toy stores. Toy stores and hobby shops are completely different, you know. It's really difficult to get Western stuff around here, after all. Is this about games again, Mi-chan? Mia nodded proudly as Raina giggled. Yep, I wanted K-chan to bring me back a West Fort catalog, you see. Westport was short for Western Imported Games. Using that abbreviation did make it sound pretty geeky. So she's like the opposite of a weep? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you can just get them to send you one in the mail, can't you? Well, I guess I have to now. I'm going to get another game full of hot action. This time I'd like a game that's easy to understand. <clears throat> Mian is a board and <sighs> Mian is a board and card game enthusiast, and I hear she's collected quite a lot of different ones. According to Marina, Mian's room has kind of become a museum for domestic and foreign games. There's a game you'd think I'd understand. Let me play too. <laughs> of course. If K-Chan is up for it, I should warn you though, we're pretty tough. Just what I want. I play all sorts of games. I don't intend to lose. Whoa. And then we'll let you in the group this time, I guess. I guess. Wrestling with joy from head to toe, Raina looked back and forth between me and Mian. Mian gave her an affirmative wink, and her expression perked up even further. I thought boys preferred playing outside more, so I figured he would want to. It's kind of yeah. difficult to tell who's talking when there's no, like, text bubble. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Raina laughed happily. Oh, that was my line. Oops. <laughs> Raina laughed happily. <laughs> <laughs> From such a friendly conversation, you wouldn't think I had moved here less than a month ago. I understood that they did all they could to make a transfer student like me feel at home. I'll have to try harder to fit in, so they won't feel the hop to try to make me feel welcome. I felt like if I acted a bit more open than I usually am, it should probably be about right for this place. Your turn. Actually, this is gonna have to be the end of the video. That's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, leave a comment, subscribe for more. It's gonna be a long series, so we're keeping it short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta deliver it in bite-sized pizzas. Pieces. <laughs> uh, can't wait for it to pick up though, because I know it gets good. <laughs> good soup. Good soup. <laughs> All right, I'll see ciao. you. See everyone uh, <clears throat> next time. Bye. Ciao, ciao.